What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another moment episode of Frazier here in Texas. <laughs> Woo! We are lucky to even be here at the ranch. Chris, y'all know Chris. He, uh, he's my elk slash mule deer slash pronghorn man. He is down here in Texas, and he left 30 plus degree weather for Texas 20, negative 20, not negative, but below 20 probably weather. Yeah. Guys, we seriously saw, we seriously saw um, people spinning out on the roads here. I mean, this is solid ice. It's supposed to be five degrees. And um, welcome to Texas. Yeah, I was uh, quite expecting this, but I'll take it. I brought Colorado with me, I guess. Yeah, thanks. But Chris originally came down. Um, to shoot a whitetail at the lease so i saved my big trophy tag for him and unfortunately the lease agreement uh was not properly explained and uh we can't hunt we had, we had to stop hunting january 30th so now we're at the ranch and we're still doing what we were going to do but we were originally going to go to lease first try to whitetail hunt but we are at the ranch now um, we are after a lot of things. Axis, Audad, um, sheep, Fourhorn, Jacob's Fourhorn. I don't know. We're going to do a lot of hunting. The next four days is going to be solid packed hunting, so y'all stay tuned for the upcoming videos. But right now we're going to go get an electric cart. We're not even going to sit in a stand. We want to get our blood pumping, see if we can't go put a stock in on something today. And um, one thing y'all don't know about Chris is he's a fantastic cook. Um, like for real the recipes he comes up with are like five star I just kind of do the good old boy fried meat and potatoes but uh, you're gonna be seeing a lot of cool recipes this week but first we got to go kill something so we can catch clean and cook whatever it is so we only got about two and a half hours of light left so we're gonna go get in the golf cart we're gonna sneak around the ranch and hopefully spot something and then put a stock in and hopefully a successful stock so See you out there. All right, guys. We just ran up on a huge group of axes, and there is a giant in there. So they busted us for sure. But I wish we would have saw them a lot further off. But we're gonna try to. I have no idea where they're going, but we're gonna try to. Honestly, with it being this muddy, we may be able to track them a little bit. Yeah. And uh, there was a herd of like 15 or 20. So. We're gonna go see if uh, we can get on when there was a giant in there. But grab those shooting sticks and uh, see if we can make it happen. Aimed right that front shoulder. I saw him. He was stumbling that way. They were about to, dude. Dang it. They were about to walk right up on us. That was awesome. That was just squirt up on his shoulder. The only thing I think. Let's go look for blood. Well, that happened quick, guys. We were trying to look for that group of axes still. 
he was like, there's something moving. And uh, there was pigs, there's a huge group of pigs. And we have a perfect wind, I'll just let them come as close as they will. And that first sow just looked at us, but. Try to find some red stuff and see if we can find the one that he shot at. That's a big boar. <laughs> There's probably 20 pigs there. All right, guys, I got you on the phone cam. Uh, I forgot the camera at the house, but me and Chris, I don't know if y'all can see him very well. I left y'all off on a sad note. Um, we thought we had lost a pig. We didn't even know really where he hit it. So we went back to the lodge, ate some dinner, and um, turns out he smoked that pig. Looks like it's a little bit of a high shot, but we are driving to the back of the ranch right now to where he shot it in the heated truck because it's freezing outside. 28 degrees right now. I got my Pulsar Helion XQ50, and we also have the Pulsar Trail XQ50 on a 308. So we're gonna go see if we can find this pig through the thermals. Um, we looked for probably a 45 minutes, you say? after you shot and didn't find any blood didn't find the pig so hopefully these thermals i've had so much luck with thermals um finding pigs and at night when you can't there goes the deer when you can't see them um during the daytime so we're gonna get back there see if we can find um this pig and if we do we've been talking we think we're gonna either if it's big enough we'll smoke a ham and if it's small enough, we'll just cut it in half and smoke a half of a pig on the smoker. So we'll see you when we get back to the back of the ranch and uh, hopefully get you some footage through the thermal and uh, try to find this. All right, guys, we made it to the back. Got that heater rolling and I'm about to switch all over to some footage on this. See what we can find. Hopefully find his piggy. Better find it right out here. You look good, dude. I see something bright. Man, look how crisp and clear that is. Woo! All right, so this, I'm trying to give you all a reference. It's really foggy tonight, so it's hard to see. Oh, look, there's a deer. How sweet is that? Pulsar.com, link in the description. Y'all go check him out. So right where that deer went in is where he shot, and it came down this tree line down to where we're at right now and this is where we think they darted in so we're gonna walk back in here and see if we can pick up any color oh there's some oryx mama and a baby maybe two babies uh oh there's something where are you looking? straight ahead I think we found your pig. It just looks like a big blob. That's him. Done. I can't do, we walked past this too, didn't we? Yeah. All right, I'm switching all back over to the camera. We found him. Guys, we literally walked past. Shine think, your light over there walked. and show him. You can barely see. We walked on this, I mean, on this open patch right here. I think we walked back through this way, so we'd have walked by, pretty much walking right past all this. We'd never yeah. seen that. You'd see it from, like, up. this angle. You just couldn't see it. Pulsar did it. That's awesome. Oh, dude, you didn't hit it high at all. Dude, that's a big sow. That's going to be a good eating right. pig. That's Is that beautiful. your first pig? Yeah. You want to do a euro, euro mount on that skull? Yeah, might as well. I'll do it for you, send it back to you. Little cutters. Heck yeah, man. That's me a good eating pig right Thank there. Thank you very much. This is fantastic. Yeah, let's get some pics and take her back and gut her. Good thing is it's yeah. 28 degrees. She's not going anywhere. It's pretty colors, black and brown in there. Yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. It is the next day. We slept great. It's early. It's got the pit fired up and Chris is making his special little rub. So I'm gonna kind of tell you what he has in it. Some ground turmeric, smoked paprika, uh, ground red pepper, cayenne pepper. We did a whole bottle and a half of, almost a half a bottle 
but a whole one of these and then about a quarter to a half of, of another one and this is my critter glitter red so that has a bunch of chili powders in it um, some coarse ground black pepper garlic powder crushed red pepper salt and uh, brown sugar and that's what the rub looks like so the clean gutted skinned and cut this pig in half last night i didn't show any of that because it was so cold and uh, my camera was dying so we're gonna go grab that half of a pig here in a minute got the smoker fired up make sure it gets the temp we're gonna rub it down with this whole rub and we're gonna cook it to let's see it's eight o'clock and we're gonna cook it to about probably seven o'clock so um it'll have all day to cook and break down and then um, we're gonna run into town later and get all of the stuff that he needs to make his famous barbecue sauce which is also um, a bunch of peppers that we're gonna smoke on the uh, on the pit as well so y'all get a new recipe for how to make your own barbecue sauce if he'll give it out <laughs> we'll see I'm gonna patent it start bottling it first you should bottle it name it mullet man barbecue sauce yeah I gotta see how you Texans like it first yeah I know is it um vinegar based or nope. No, no molasses base. Molasses. Yep. I'm I'm a vinegar guy, but we'll see. Came to the old shop. Here's the aftermath, guys. Man, how pretty is that? Just a nice little old half of a pig. There's the other half. Um, our buddy Cruz. He's uh, he works out here sometimes. We give him all the meat that we don't use. Uh, he's gonna come by, grab this other half, and um, I would use it, but we already have a bunch of pig meat in the freezer and I really wanted to do a half a pig so um, he sends it home with him can't really show that hole but y'all can kind of see what happened there with the old 65 PRC there's no shoulder there it's actually the entrance wound yeah that's the entrance pretty crazy but we're gonna get this uh, half that we're cooking loaded on the back I'll see you whenever we're putting the rub on it and then it's going straight on the smoker my lady man why are you putting a pig in my truck dog <laughs> Because your tailgate's frozen. I know, we can't get my tailgate open and it'll just slide off the back. Hopefully no one sees us thinking this is a, a body. No. Santa came early, or late. late. Santa came late. Real late. All right, Chris is preparing his famous barbecue sauce. So we got, explain all the peppers. All right, so we got uh, jalapeno peppers. I smoke a few of those. And then serrano peppers, just for the, uh, those are a little bit spicier. Uh, we got tomatillos and just some Roma tomatoes that, uh, that we put on the smoker earlier out there with the pig. And uh, so I'm just kind of getting the, uh, the stems out right now, just so we don't blend those up. But that's kind of the, the base of it. That's Seeds where we and start. All? No, I tend to keep the seeds in. I mean, those will blend up. That's where a lot of the heat is, too. So you take the um, seeds out or you keep them in? No, I keep them in. Yeah. Uh, just to keep the, the spice in there. And then uh, it's more of the stems that are hard. You'll see on the tomatoes, on the tomatillos. You cut those out. Okay. And then what else are we adding so to this? Then, uh, well, the big thing is we just got to gotta liquefy this, blend it up. And then we've got some ketchup, molasses. And a whole bunch of seasonings to add in, a little apple cider, apple cider vinegar, and then we'll. Uh, oh, you found some molasses. Yeah. We didn't even need to buy any. I didn't know if that was enough or not. But. Oh, really? You use that much? Uh, we had a, we do a cup, so I'm doing a triple batch since we have all this, and so you guys have some to keep. So. So what are the triple batch? You do one cup of molasses to what? So it's uh. We'll put in, I won't put all this in, I just kind of judge it. So I mean, I always have extra, and you can always add more depending on what flavor you like. If you want more spicy, add in some serranos. Um, so it's essentially these veggies and peppers to th three cups ketchup, uh, one cup molasses, uh, one cup brown sugar. Uh, we'll do about a, probably about a cup of the apple cider vinegar and then, uh, and then, uh, some different spices and some mustard and and then you cook it up or just and just sit there and kind of let it simmer for a while so those flavors kick in all right so we'll try this first see how our blender works usually if we have a food processor you can really get that 
blend it up a lot better and get a lot of those seeds taken care of. We'll see how we do out here. Let's try. Pretty liquefied to me. Yeah. I mean, the idea of this essentially is to, uh, that that's your tomato sauce base that a lot of barbecue sauces have. Uh, but you also get the smoked flavor, obviously. And then uh, what's great is it's all fresh ingredients. I mean, we're not putting anything in there. Unfortunately, the ketchup has some preservatives, but you can always go with an organic ketchup. Dude, that has a weird smell. It's the tomatillo. Yeah. yeah, you're smelling that smoked tomatillo. I mean, honestly, you could turn this around and you could add uh, like cilantro. Just make a salsa. You can make a good salsa out of this too, you know. Judge so. just said dip a chip in it. Yeah, I bet. So we ended up with three cups of the um, liquefied pureed tomatoes, tomatillos, serranos, and jalapenos. Now we're going to do how many cups of ketchup? So we'll equalize that. That'll be three, cu three cups of ketchup as well. How many, is that that thing's probably three cups itself probably right pretty close to it we may have to cut a little bit more you guys have hotter serranos down here apparently yeah it's we, just, we just try this uh with salsa and we're all sweating a little bit okay uh -huh. three cups of ketchup a cup of molasses this ought to be one cup huh yeah, I'll use that first. Original grandma's molasses. Grandma. Let's see what the date is on this baby first. Let me check that. <laughs> yeah, it's it just it just <laughs> expired in nineteen. <laughs> the new ones have a uh, nice stainless steel in here. That's some thick gunk right there. Can't be good for you. Why? Better than a lot of stuff, I guess. And then a cup of apple cider vinegar. Oh yeah, that doesn't expire till year 24. Vinegars last forever. Lots of acids. I hope y'all enjoy this. I, I really enjoy new recipes, especially like a sauce. Cup of that. Stinky feet. That's what that smells like. How much... Uh, the last mustard. big ingredient is the uh, the brown sugar. How much mustard do you use? Oh, a lot of those spices I'm just kind of doing. It's kind of a little bit of this, a little bit bigger of that. mash. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then it's uh, one. and then it's adding certain spices depending on what flavor you like. I mean, a lot of these are going to have a, a very distinct flavor. Like the cayenne. I mean. You know, and if it's not sweet enough, you can always just add a little more brown sugar. Yeah, so that'll kind of tame down that hotness. Oh, yeah. So the brown, the reason why you cook it, well, just to mix everything together, but that brown sugar has to melt as well. Yeah. Big old hump of brown sugar. Probably the dark brown sugar is the best. A little mustard. And then, well, let's get it cooking. And get it, like, sauteing a little bit over here. Start mixing things up. Final touches of the barbecue sauce. What we got? All right, we're sure in about three tablespoons. Low sodium. That's about three tablespoons, isn't it? Yep. I thought I think it's about four and a half. About a tablespoon. These are the ones where I say like you can add the flavor later, but that's about a tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna go with two. You just kept doing it. Nah, a, <laughs> yeah, I think that'll work. Some tablespoons are bigger than others. We eat a lot now. On, uh, onion powder. Probably a batch this size, and I'll do. A few you don't need much black <laughs> pepper. You think so? Half a tablespoon. I'm calling we'll it. We'll do a couple. Calling the shots. A couple of tablespoons. Black pepper doesn't add that much spice. It just adds good flavor yeah, to that's everything. True. I love black pepper. Uh, this uh, normally do a kosher salt, but we're going with Himalayan oh, pink salt. It's good. Got a tablespoon of that. Mm -hmm. 
And some Dijon mustard. Yeah, you get a good coarse grain. Uh, the stuff I usually get is a lot coarser than this even, but this is what we got. Do you use the stuff that I like up there in Colorado? Uh, no, because that's, that's already flavored, but. Gotcha. So you do a couple tablespoons of that. Uh, they have it? ones where like you can, the seeds are pretty much whole and. All right. Yeah, everyone's favorite. Cumin? Cumin. Cumin. It's that's cumin. A tablespoon of that. Not cumin. You cumin over today? On there. And then, like I said, you can kind of adjust. Uh, if you like it spicier, add more cayenne. You need it saltier. You need it sweeter. There's all those ingredients you can add a little bit more to. This is a bigger batch. Normally, I don't do the uh, that many veggies, but we want it for it. No liquid smoke. That way, uh, because we already got the smoke from the veggies. You know, this is all pretty much fresh ingredients. Uh, ketchup, like I said, the only difference there is if you got organic ketchup, you don't need preservatives. So, like I said, eat it fast. Yeah, All right, Hayden. Here. We got the whole crew here now. <laughs> One out of ten. Little pork, pulled pork slider. <laughs> this is the best wild hog I've ever had. That's what I'm saying. I think it is too for me. All right. What do you think? I think it's delicious. One out of ten. <laughs> well, I give it a ten. For that, a little barbecue sauce on it, just enough spice. Little barbecue sauce, little fried potatoes, a little col coleslaw, coleslaw on top. Eat this all day yeah. long. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned. We got more recipes coming. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.